For this video, what I want to do is show you how to do operations on vectors. When I'm talking about operations on vectors, I'm talking about adding, subtracting, or doing scalar multiplication on a vector. So what I have here is I have two vectors given. Vector u is 2 comma 3 and vector v is negative 1 comma 4. And I'm going to find several different things. I'm going to first find 2 times vector u. I'm then going to find 2 times vector u plus vector v. And then I'm going to find vector v minus 3 times vector u. So the first one that we're going to do is 2 times u. This is known as scalar multiplication because I'm multiplying by a scale factor of 2. So I'm just taking vector u, which is 2 comma 3, and I'm multiplying it by 2. So essentially all I'm doing is the distributive property where I multiply 2 times 2 and 2 times 3. So 2 times 2 gives me 4 and 2 times 3 gives me 6. So this is the result of 2 times u. All right. The, for the second one, we're going to take 2 times u and we're going to add v to it. Since we already found 2 times u was 4 comma 6, I'm not going to do that work again. Had I not found it, I would have just distributed it in. Okay, adding in the vector v, I would take negative 1 comma 4. And then when I simplify this, all I have to do is add corresponding elements. So 4 plus negative 1 gives me 3. 6 plus 4 gives me 10, and so this would be the result of um, doing 2 times vector u plus vector v. And the last one that we have is v minus 3u. So with this one, let's start with vector v is the vector negative 1 comma 4. And then we're going to do minus 3 times vector u, which is 2, 3. What I like to do is take and distribute the negative 3 into the vector and then change it to addition. That way I only have to deal with the negative when it's attached over here. Um, just make sure that you don't leave it as subtraction if you distribute the negative in. So since I'm multiplying by negative 3, I'm going to change this to addition. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. And now all I have to do is add the resulting or the corresponding elements. So negative 1 plus negative 6 is negative 7. And 4 plus negative 9 gives me negative 5. And so we can say that vector v minus 3 times vector u is equal to negative 7 comma negative 5. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics, please let me know that as well.